Hello folks and welcome back to the Hitchhiker. In this video we're going to go to right to uh, what lies in store here. Oh, let's find out. It's the second house on the right here. No wait, the third. Don't you remember where it is? I thought you spent your whole childhood here. Do you know what put us on top of the food chain? Do you know? And please, don't say opposable thumbs. Plenty of animals have those. Uh, possums, koalas, something called the waxy monkey leaf frog. They're nothing special. Forget about thumbs, okay? Memory is what put us here. So many of our dreams are set in the places where we used to live. We want to see them, visit them again. There should be a rule, a kind of a social convention. The old apartment rule uh, works like this. We can show up any place we used to live and simply explain, oh, I used to live here. There's nothing strange about it. The people who live there just throw open their doors and invite us in to have a look around. So uh, we can go back home again. So we can... Behold. Hey, are you keeping an eye out? Oh dear, I didn't mean to put you to sleep with my talking. No, 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 no offense taken. I've been told I have a way of putting my students to sleep as well. Uh, we're looking for Asper Street. And at least it used to be called that. The problem is, is that a few years ago, they rearranged all the letters of the street signs in this uh, neighborhood. Very impractical. Uh, I didn't catch your name. Time hops. You don't remember. Well, they say sleep is the cousin of death. Well, you're lucky I happened to find you in that cornfield. Some of the places I'm asked to lecture at these days, oh, dubious at best. No, 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 just a second. Let's find this Asper Street, please, before we begin our inquiries. Like I say, they might have rearranged the letters a bit. Where's Asper Street at? that one. Asper Street, but uh, jumbled up. No, not that one. Asper Street, but uh, jumbled up. Right, sign gel. I should just keep going till you come across it. No, not that one. Asper Street, but uh, jumbled up. Yes, that's it. Very good. So, we're on our way. Now, there was something you wanted to ask. Well, what can I say? I like to hold on to things. Always give yourself the option to look back. That's what I say. Keep your eye on the rearview mirror. You, my friend, should know that best of all. Oh, yes. We've all met you along this highway. I picked you up because I could tell you're looking for something. Something you've lost. Now, we're all looking for something on this road. 
I've never met anyone who wasn't. My dog. Well, she's been missing for a long time now. <laughs> oh, yes. Vern said you were pretty funny. So, Vern mentioned this problem you have uh, with a photo. Vern, sure. Now, I know almost everybody on this road. Well, there's not many of us, after all. Excellent raisins that guy Vern has. Did you try one? Delicious, am I right? So, okay, show me this photo. So, you're looking for her. What happened to her? Well, a, a singe photograph is never a good sign. I'm sorry, though. You don't remember anything? Well, I can help you with one part. You two came by my house, yes? See, that's... that's my silo. There in the background. Well, there was some kind of an argument. I invited you two in and put the kettle on the stove. You never wound up making it through the front door. No, no, just you two doing the arguing. Uh, she suddenly had to take a call. You got impatient. Now, I don't know, but you didn't seem happy about it. I had the feeling it was a recurring thing. Someone who's in the habit of getting in the way between you two. Well, I, I'm happy to help however I can. What do you have in mind? If you want to know what happened to her, why don't you just ask her yourself? You haven't asked me yet where we're headed. The Warehouse of Lost Things. Impressed? Okay, it's this warehouse that contains everything you've ever lost in your life. You can find anything there, even feelings, but you only get 15 minutes to look. Yes, only 15 minutes. It really threw me the last time I was there. Now, I got distracted by some middens yeah, I had as a kid. Left them at a bus stop sometime in the mid-60s. After that, my parents bought those things that clip your mittens to your coat so it wouldn't happen again. Well, uh, why not? Shamanic tribes of the Amazon believe that in order to heal, you have to journey into the other world, find the thing you've lost among the spirits, and bring it back. Now, and the thing about all the things we misplace, Atlantis, huh? No, no, no. We lost an entire city once. Why shouldn't we get a second chance just to go back and retrieve some of the things we've left behind? Now, if I remember correctly, it's only about another 20 minutes from here. Okay. Save the whale, huh? Car crash. Save the dolphins. Right, looked at the postcard, didn't we? Fax machines of 1992. 
my traveling through time here. Last ride, it was 1954, wasn't it? It's nothing. I'm uh, just wondering about this green light. Are you one of these people who's good with cars? I was hoping you might know. I never saw it before until you got into the car. A car manual? Oh no. That's not the sort of book I keep in here. I'm a humanities teacher. No, I, I think we'll wait to find a mechanic someplace. Perhaps that part-time quiz show hostess. Ah, the green light. The epic sense of man's urgency. The future that keeps receding from us. Yes, I suppose you've read The Great Gatsby, too. It's probably nothing major, just a reminder to get something checked. But what do I know? I'm not the technical sort. Oh, we could ask Lola. Well, she's very good with these things. Lola's a kind of oracle. Well, she's given me lots of good advice, right from where you're sitting. Besides, more to the point, I'd like to check with her about directions, just to make sure we're pointed the right way. See if you can find her here. No, no, not a woman. A bear. Well, she's quite small, you see. A toy bear. Now, I found her at the World's Fair in Barcelona, 1929, at an exhibition about alchemy. Lola Montes. Mm, but she's somewhere in this car now. Feel free to rummage around as much as you need. Interesting. Looks familiar. There she is. Ah, Lola. Put her on the glove box lid, my boy. That's where she likes to speak. Yes, sometimes directly, sometimes in a more of a roundabout way. Lola Dearest, now I'm here with this young fellow here and, well, the warehouse. Now, it's left up here on Concord Avenue, right? She's not ready to talk yet. She's lonely and she misses her friends. Fellow memory objects, that's her preferred company. Trinkets like her, lost and found many times over the years, imbued with the memories of everyone who's ever claimed them as their own. Get enough of them together, 
and things start to get interesting. The present moment peels back like wallpaper to reveal the past behind it and the future ahead. Her and her friends, yes. She's very good. She even remembers my dog's names. The one who's missing? Hops, like me. Stupid idea, naming a dog after yourself. <laughs> they constantly think they're being trained. Every time someone you know stops you in the street. Made her a little bit high-strung. About nine months. Well, no, I, I couldn't look for her these last months. I got a bit detained. Yes, it all started when I was buying some tube socks. I was on the escalator, trying to leave the mall. Do you ever have that thing where you buy something and you know it's the right thing, but you start worrying about it just as you're leaving? I was staring at the socks, wondering if they were the right length. Now, I knew they were, but I must have not been paying attention. Because suddenly, I slipped down that crack at the end of the escalator, right where you're supposed to step off. Yes, exactly the thing kids are always worrying about, getting sucked down the escalator. Well, first quite quickly, and then very slowly. Before you know it, you're banging around in this chute, and then you land at the bowling green. That's what they call the entrance. That's a little area with some onboarding materials and that fake grass carpeting, so the landing isn't so rough. It's the most fantastic place under the escalator. Just vast. Like falling out of bed and landing on the moon. Oh, no. No, there are other people there, but not much good for company. Everyone's just waiting to get out. Very poserish scene down there, let me tell you. A lot of staged ennui. Oh, not much, really. There's an old black and white TV that only gets a few channels. There are some old board games just lying around, but they're all missing pieces and instructions. There, there was one box that promised eight games in one. No, but I couldn't figure out for the life of me how to play a single game. A couple of decks of cards, all incomplete. I must have dreamt 20 times that I found the Four of Clubs. Well, they open the escalator every year on January 1st. Well, clear everyone out. They used to do it more often, but then, well, yep, yeah, budget cuts. I fell in the beginning of April, one of the last cold weekends of the year. Really tough thing to get your head around, being trapped in there almost the whole calendar year. Pretty much the only thing that passes for excitement there is when somebody new drops in. Pretty quickly, you learn to tell the difference between the real people and the mannequins they drop down the chute. Sure. Well, that's how they keep everyone fed down there. They stuff mannequins full of food and supplies, put them on the escalator, and just let them slide down the chute. Oh, that's a big moment. When they drop the mannequins down, really breaks up the monotony. Everyone rushes over to tear the mannequin apart to get their hands on the food inside. Oh, indeed. But I guess it's the easiest way to get the food to slip down the crack. Now, one time, a real guy fell down the shaft and was mistaken for a mannequin. Now, he was half torn to shreds before I pulled him out of there. Poor fella didn't look lifelike enough. Oh, yes. He was really quite beside himself. Now, he gave me his pipe as a, as a token of appreciation for saving him from the mob. Well, I still keep it in my pocket. Oh, look. 
Let's give it to her, please. Please lend her the pipe for a moment. Let's see if she's feeling more sociable. Lola dear, are you feeling more chatty now? She says her tea party is still missing two guests. You see, we just need to find two more of her friends. My audiobook about the gulag makes perfect sense. Only one more object to find now. Oh, well, it's something I used to play for her in the car an awful lot. There was this one story she used to adore. The story? Well, it's about two guys. In a way, Two guys like us, who were side by side, both waiting for something to happen. Now, these two fellows were both prisoners in the Gulag. Do you know what the Gulag was? So, the Gulag. That was these forced labor camps where they used to send people in Russia, right? The thing is, the Gulags weren't closely guarded. It was pretty easy to escape. because these camps were off in the absolute middle of nowhere. Y you could escape, but then what would you do? Well, you'd starve to death. <laughs> so there was a trick. It was called the sandwich. Now, say you and I wanted to escape the Gulag. Two guys like us, friends. We recruit another guy, a third guy, to escape with us. Now, preferably a nice, fat, buttery guy. The fat guy was called the sandwich because the idea is that the two buddies, us, would kill and eat the sandwich on the way home to survive. <laughs> it's great, right? Hmm. Uh, maybe I didn't tell the story right. Oh, I think mainly just because of the setting, Siberia. Bears love stories about remote places. Well, I haven't told you the best part yet. Well, there was one time these two guys escaped with a sandwich. But there was a problem. They finished the sandwich too soon. Didn't ration him out long enough. He was all gone. And they still had days to walk through the Siberian tundra. These guys were great friends, but they were also hardened criminals. 
and so they knew that whichever one of them fell asleep would be eaten by the other one. But the code of criminal friendship didn't allow them to acknowledge this. So they had to keep playing it, you know, nonchalant, chatting about stuff, whatever people talked about back then, trudging through the snow. Who? Oh, those two convicts. Oh no, one of them fell asleep and got eaten by the other. But it's their ability to keep face that I always think about. Their honor that couldn't admit any suspicion. I mean, you don't totally trust me, right? Well, I can see you looking out the corner of your eyes. But you don't think I know where I'm going. Listen, can I ask you an honest question? Okay, here it goes. This girlfriend of yours, why is it so important for you to find her? I mean, okay, the burnt photo, damsel in distress, etc., etc. I, I, I get it. But if you can't remember anything about her... We'll always have this. See? This is Lola's influence. <laughs> it's starting to work. You feel it, right? All you have to do is find your way back to me. Let's keep him as our pet. You two didn't even mean to capture it. It just flew into the empty bottle. Well, for your sake, I hope so. I think you know. You're like me. The past is the only place left for us. When we were young, we thought the past could only tie us down. Everything we wanted, freedom, lay ahead on the open road. Well, that was yesterday, and this is today. Now the past is all you've got, and the future is full of pain. Well, when we get to the warehouse, remember to keep an eye out for a firefly in a glass bottle. We shouldn't be hard to spot. They tend to keep that place pretty dimly lit. Looks like Vern started doing some advertising. I guess he's finally decided to take matters into his own hands. Normally he's so stoic, letting things take their own course, never complaining. Well, he was just trying to help you. Seems like you can use it. You're totally infected with this frontier spirit, am I right? Always move ahead, always continue along the two-lane blacktop. Maybe Vern exaggerates a bit, but at least he knows these parts. You should turn back here. No, I'm serious. It's just Lola. Blast nothing. Someone, someone changed the street signs. Him. He's been here. I swear it was a second left past the Red House. But don't worry. Don't worry. We'll find it. it it's right around here. 
No, it seems to have disappeared along with the car manual. I just want to find my dog. Ah, oh, these streets all look the same. This is worse than falling down an escalator. Uh, here, take this. See if you can figure out which way is east. Are you sure? I mean, look through it and see if it tells you which way is east. No luck, huh? Well, maybe it does something useful. Oh! Listen! Sh she's starting to talk. Hopefully we can get out of this maze now and head on our way. Lola, dear, this young man and I... We're looking for... She's saying something. Something about you. A car crash? No, no, no. He's, he's fine. Well, just look at him. She thinks you've caused some kind of accident. I can vouch for this young man, Lola. Well, he's been with me almost the entire afternoon. She says she knows who you are and that she wants to help you. She's gathered these memory objects for a purpose, for you to put together, to bring you earthly knowledge, she says. Hmm, very peculiar. Yeah, now we gotta put a camera together, huh? I don't think that's where it goes. Okay. Well, isn't that something? It's alchemy, my boy. Art. A camera. Your means for turning water into wine. Redeeming the past. Renewing memories. Well, nothing needs redeeming more than the American suburbia. Now, am I right? Americana. Where the surreal intermingles with the mundane. Here's your chance, my boy. Create a photo journal. Win some awards. Firefly. Sent directly from your memory, I suppose, to guide you. Oh, hello there, Lampyridine. Oh, oh, those sideburns. Don't let my students get a hold of that. I think they're not done yet. They want you to take more photos. They want to show us the way, but they can only do it through photos.
Gee, I didn't notice him standing back there. Should we go back and pick him up? Who is that guy anyway? You don't sound very glad to see him. I think they're not done yet. They want you to take more photos. Firefights wouldn't find a house. Fireflies. Trading post, huh? Interesting proposition. I expect you get something rather valuable in exchange for this particular camera. More photos. We're following the fireflies. Dog! How? If I can't find her in the past, I don't have a chance of finding her in the future. Oh, that was just nonsense I said to cheer you up. I just want to find my dog. Trying to find his dog, huh? There's some fireflies. Two houses behind trees and all kinds of stuff. Where did he go now? Is that a dog collared in the street? I, I, I suppose, but what's happened to her? She's invisible. She's lost in time since the warehouse closed its doors. That's it. Capture her with that camera of yours. Oh, you're a good dog, Hops. You ran past a funny mailbox through a door and we'll find you, don't worry. We've got to find that house. Find a house with a strange mailbox. In the dark. Look for a damn thing in the fucking dark. Or fireflies. The 
days, I don't know. That was it. Nope, didn't register. Around the same block again, huh? That's the one. Hang on. Look, the silo. That's my house. Funny how you can come upon the very place you live and not even recognize it. All depends on the angle you... Hey! There's Hops! Thank goodness. Oh, I've almost got her back. Listen, I didn't realize the warehouse was closed, but we must do it again. Now you have to promise me, pinky promise, that we're going to meet again in a year, okay? This same spot. We won't exchange contact info or anything like that. We'll keep it old school. Meet here in one year's time. What do you say? Sorry to hear that, young man. People like to say that you can't live in the past. Well, look at me. I'm living proof to the contrary. Look, your fireflies are back. Seems like they're waiting to give you one last memory. Hops, wait for me! Where's he going? I just think it would be fun to ring the bell. I lived here my entire childhood. I feel like I have the right. Sure, but we better make it quick. Lots of driving to do still. Hello. What can I do for you two? This is gonna sound funny, but... Not at all. Come right in. Oh, sorry. I've gotta take this. To me, it's perfect here. I don't understand what's so great about our life in Seattle. Don't you ever think about making a change? Sure, but this isn't the kind of change I had in mind. I get it. You grew up here, so it's your baseline of normal. But this just isn't my idea of an adventure. Adventure. It's just, it's real here. It's a good place to grow up, to have children. At least it was for me. I can always find myself here. Same stars, same fence, same mailbox. There's a box in here, trade camera. Lock box. Hey, you need a ride someplace? Oh folks, that was just the end of right two. Next video when we continue the game we'll go to ride three, which is Leah. Right three is not much of a ride, you're just sitting in a restaurant talking, that's all you're doing. So until next time, take care and thanks for watching. Bye. I'll talk at you later.